What's up everybody? I'm going to show you a quick video on how to set up your HW1 wallet offline, the most secure way to set up your Bitcoin wallet. So let's get right to it guys. All right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need, actually we're going to need four things in total. We're going to need, of course, the HW1. You're gonna need a USB drive, and you're gonna need two bits of software. You're gonna need the Ledger Wallet ISO. You can download it right here at this address, or I will post the link below, and you install the ISO. Uh, the ISO is basically an image, so it's kind of like a zipped file, to say. Um, so we're gonna be using an ISO image reader to to open up the files in the ISO. If you don't have an ISO um, software, um, you can download one right here. It's called Unet Bootin. Here's the address. I will also post the link below. So once you install everything, um, you're gonna grab your USB drive and you're gonna plug it into your USB slot. Once you plug in your uh, USB drive, we're gonna be looking for the ISO program that we just downloaded. We're gonna select it and... Once the program loads up, we're gonna be selecting disk image on the left side. So click on that and we're gonna be clicking on the three dots to search through our computers, um, Windows Explorer, and we're gonna be finding that ISO file we just downloaded. So locate the file we just downloaded, select it, and you're gonna be selecting open. Make sure you're on the right uh, drive. In my case, it's G drive, which is the USB stick, which we just plugged into the computer, and you're gonna be pressing okay. Once you press okay, let the, the program do its magic and let it run itself. All right, so once it finishes, we're simply just gonna press exit. And we're from here, we're gonna be shutting down your laptop shut it down don't press restart we're going to shut it down completely for now all right so once your computer shut off make sure your usb drive is connected and you're going to be turning it on um, most computers will boot off directly from the usb first but if it's not you're going to have to go into your bios and select to boot from your usb drive first i've never tried it with this computer so we're about to find out it looks like it's not booting from the usb drive because it has a windows logo on there so we're gonna have to go back and restart the computer and select um, a new BIOS um, priority first, okay? So I'm gonna shut off the computer again. Now on some computers, you have to press F2. Some computers delete. In my case, it's escape. I'm pressing escape as soon as it turns on and it took me to my BIOS. From here, I'm gonna be selecting um, boot device options which is f9 so i'm going to press f9 to get me into the boot options and from here i'm going to be selecting my usb hard drives so i'm just going to press enter on that and it's going to take me to this screen and from here i'm going to select ledger live so press down select ledger live and just press enter on your computer Once it do, does that, it's gonna just work its magic and basically it's just gonna start up the Ledger Wallet software. All right, so we have three options. We got create a new wallet or restore a wallet and a delete a wallet. If you wanna restore a wallet, you're gonna click on number two and you're gonna write down the 24 uh, seed words that you were wrote down. But in this case, we're gonna select create a new wallet. So we're gonna press number one and then we're gonna press enter. So it's gonna ask us to create a four pin password. Remember your birthday and your social security is not a good password. Um, so put, put a four digit password. It's not gonna show it on screen, but it actually types it. So put your four pins in there and press enter. 
Next, it's going to ask you to confirm the 4-pin password you just created, so put in the 4-pin password and press enter. So on the next screen, your 24 words are generated. These are the, for the 24 seed words that you're going to be writing down on your pamphlet that comes with the HW1, and you cannot lose these words. Do not take a picture of the words and do not save the words on a computer. Save them, on, write them down on a piece of paper and put them in a safe place like it tells you to. Now make sure you're writing them down in the right order. As you can see, they're going from left to right. One, two, three, four, in the, in the same order, in the right order. And again, I cannot stress any, any longer and anymore. Just put them in a safe place. Once you're done, press enter and you'll be presented with this screen. You're going to be unplugging the USB flash thumb drive and plugging in your, your Nano wallet. This is my HW1 wallet. I put it into a Star Wars toy. It's the same thing. Just plug it in. And it's going to set up your wallet. As you can see, it's basically done. Successful. Your wallet is ready. So, pr so press the enter button or any key and it's going to take you to the main menu again. Now Ledger doesn't have a way to restart your computer so basically you're just going to have to press your power button and restart your computer. Once you turn off your computer just power it back on and wait for it to load up Windows. Now if you don't have the Ledger Wallet web app you're going to have to download it by going to their website so go to ledgerwallet.com forward slash start. Now I forgot to mention that the Ledger Wallet uses Chrome a browser to work. It uses a web app to work as a software. So if you don't have Chrome browser, you're going to have to download Chrome browser to use um, Ledger Wallet. So download it. All right, so once you're in the link I gave you, you're gonna scroll down and look for nano hw.1. You're gonna select HW.1 and from here you're gonna go uh, you're gonna scroll up and you're gonna select install web app which is the one on the right side but since I already have it it says open uh, in your case it's gonna say install so install it and then you open it once you have it um, once you have it and you open it just let it load up once the ledger wallet is open, you're gonna be taking your wallet, your HW1, and you're gonna plug it into your computer. Once you plug it in, it's gonna ask you for the four pin password that you, you created earlier. So put in the four pin password and press enter. From here, you're gonna let your new wallet sync up with the entire Bitcoin network. So it might take some time, it might take a few minutes. I'm gonna let the camera roll so you can see how long it usually takes for the process to happen but just give it some time okay and it's done and that's it you're basically done you have your new wallet of course there's a zero balance so all you have to do now is add some funds that fast that simple peace out